Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Well, today is the start of the holiday seasons, you guys. It is finally here. <laughs> and today's going to be a super fun video, super different. I'm actually going to do a mini vlog. I have some new products uh, I am testing out as well. So it's going to be a full packed video. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you're new to my channel, if you would please hit that subscribe and notification bell before you leave today, I would truly, truly appreciate it. And we'd love to have you in our family here. Okay, you guys, let's go start this holiday season. So today I'm super excited. We are going to Frankenmuth here in Michigan. Uh, it's been around for years. Um, I think it was founded like in the 1800s. I'll go through all that as I'm getting ready. So today's gonna be like a little mini vlog. And uh, hopefully when I'm up there, I'll take some footage of how cute this little town is. It's Bavarian style architecture. So that's what uh, it's all based on. So I'm just going to pull my hair back with my new little clips that I got. You guys are going to be so mad at me, but I went to TJ Maxx, <laughs> another one. Now, let me just tell you, it, it's still a situation with the makeup. Uh, there's not a big selection. Otherwise, I would have filmed it. But they did have new hair clips that, that I needed desperately. I like this color gray, so, um, and they were $3.99. Uh, let's get ready. I do have some new stuff, though. Today will be a great day to test all these new things. Uh, I'll be going in and out doors all day. And the weather is kind of iffy, so hopefully we don't get rained upon. <laughs> so let's get just started right away because this probably will be a little lengthy video. How unusual. Um, and I'm going to start with my eyes. And I'm going to use my, of course, uh, dupe for the P. Louise. And I've already done my eyebrows. So that is always a time saver. So did you guys have a great Halloween? Uh, you know, here it, it hasn't happened yet. But uh, the time this goes out, uh, Halloween will have passed and we are now starting um, the holiday season officially, which is it brings me back to Frankenmuth. Um, Frankenmuth is known for their, um, they have a, a store there called Bronner's and it is a year round Christmas store. <laughs> So another thing I did find there, again, once in a great while, I will find a treasure. God knows how this is, how long it's been there. This is even on clearance. Um, and this is $5.50 and it's BH Cosmetic Palette, which is great. And it's called, um, I believe, just Miss Bella. Um, and the cool thing about this, when I opened and looked at it a little bit, there is a mirror, but it does come with all of this here. Um, some, this looks like a highlighter, a blush. And then all the shades here. And I thought that this might go well with uh, what I'm wearing here. I don't know what color it's coming out on here, uh, but it's actually a plum uh, shirt. So I'm more in the plum family. I did get another brush that you guys, um, but it's through Real Techniques. And it came with this little cute container. Um, just a few brushes here. And the reason why I picked that up, it is $5.99. And I actually had some, saw something similar on Ulta's website and it was like $12.99. So I thought this was the, the same one and I was so excited that I got it for $5.99. No, it's not, <laughs> but it's still a good deal. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to use here, it's called Warm Sand. See how all the names are on there? That's what I like here. <laughs> that way I can see what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm just going to go in as my transition shade. Of course, I am not going to go crazy, you guys. Um, I am going to be in public, so yeah, this is going, hopefully will remain mild, but you know me. This brush is really nice. I like that, but Real Techniques always has great brushes. It's super soft, and uh, this formula seems to be working out really well, too. 
the BH um, for me, as you know how much I love their eyeshadows. Um, I rarely ever have any problems with their eyeshadows. Okay, so that's what that shade looks like here. And now I'm going to go in with a little smaller brush here. And I'm going to go into the shade. Um, it's called Blood Moon. And that is more like probably the, you know, close to the color of my shirt. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit and put this on the outer corner. So, yeah, the funny thing about this, you guys, is um, it's kind of become a tradition with my new daughter-in-law. Uh, we used to go as, you know, my husband's family um, a lot when we were young, when the kids were younger. It kind of was a tradition then. And something just got lost along the way and we stopped going. Well, then my son started dating his wife now, um, my daughter-in-law. And here's the funniest part, you guys. She absolutely loves it. Uh, she loves to go. This is her thing. Um, she's been talking about it all week. She's so excited. You guys, she's Jewish. <laughs> and the funny thing, and the, where she wants to go is the Christmas store. Because, um, and you know, that's the great thing about uh, their relationship is, you know, they do embrace both, um, you know, Christmas and Hanukkah. So, ooh, I like that. That looks really nice. So, um, I am just going to grab a little bit more. And I'm going to try to look uh, straight ahead and go a little higher. I find that my hooded eye is becoming a little bit more prominent. So I am having to adjust where I put my eyeshadows because uh, otherwise you will not see them. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go in with that first shade a little bit and go right above that. Okay, now I'm just going to take a little more de uh, detail brush here and I'm going to go in with, I believe it's called Knox, and that's a black shade here. And you know how I like to deepen out that outer corner just a touch. I'm not going to go uh, too much, just enough to add a little bit of dimension there. So do you guys like my new little uh, background? I had to change it. I realized, I'm like, oh my gosh, I went to go start filming and it was still uh, Halloween stuff. I'm like, well... Time this goes out, Halloween will be over. So I need to now get into the mood of the holiday season, which I'm, you know, I'm, I'm torn. It just seemed like it came so fast. And, um, yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited because hopefully you guys, uh, this year we will be able to be with our families and not be so nervous about it. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I actually really like this palette. Now here was, comes the hard part. We have some shimmer choices here. It looks like there are four choices. Uh, there's one, two, three, and four. So let's swatch these because this is where I always run into a problem. Okay, so here are the swatches of each of these uh, shimmers here. So this is what we got here. Um, this, I mean, it could go. Uh, this would be kind of interesting. It's a green just to throw things off. So I, I, I think I'm actually debating between these two. And also there is, you know, that highlighter, um, that I could probably even go towards too. And that is that, Ooh, that's pretty too. So, um, I actually think, hmm, I actually think I'm going to try th this green. Um, I don't know why, but let's, <laughs> let's see what happens here. Uh, make it a little bit more fall. It's not like a green green, so that is good. And I'm actually going to go in with that highlighter uh, just to do my inner corner. And just go into that a little bit just to brighten it up. I'm going to take that one brush that had Blood Moon on it and just go over just a little bit further just to blend that all in. Yeah, I do like that. It's just, uh, just really different. And I'm glad I did choose that green. And actually what I think I'm going to go over the green just slightly with that highlighter. And take a fluffy brush and just lightly just go over that. 
just to add a little bit more pizzazz. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is go off to the other eye, and I'll be right back. Kurt? It's the cheese house. Figurine spell. <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome into the cheese house. <laughs> Let's enter. <laughs> Say cheese. Hey guys, I actually really like how that turned out. I really enjoyed that palette. So that's always exciting when I find those great deals. Oh, and those brushes too. Those are really nice. So yeah, again, you can always find those great treasures at uh, TJ Maxx. I'm so bummed I didn't tape what little they had in there. <laughs> but we didn't miss much here. Okay, so what I am going to do uh, with lining my eye is just use a pencil liner. And I'll tell you why. Because usually when it's cold out, um, and I'm going to be outside my eyes water, so I'm not going to risk, you know, wearing a liquid liner and it going everywhere. Um, even though they say it's waterproof, that's not always the case. And I'm not going to risk that either. So this one, again, is the Master Pre Precise Skinny by Maybelline. It's in the shade Defining Black, and I absolutely love this little liner. And, um, you know, it just stays put, gives that just right amount of time. Uh, to blend it out if needed and yeah it's just a great liner and I love that you know the pencil itself is very slim um, and what I'm going to do is just take um, a little smudging brush and just bring out you know just take a tiny very little wing here nothing nothing major just enough and I am going to actually tight line today as well I think I'm going to wear lashes and again you know when it's super windy out like this uh, I tend to like to wear lashes instead of risk wearing tons of mascara those are just things I have found that work best for me um, in these conditions you know with what with, with the weather okay here comes the fun part again you know how much I love and obsessed with complexion products <laughs> so I'm going to first go in with my master blur stick um, by Maybelline. I absolutely love this. If you are new to my channel, uh, it, you say anything with blurring and I am all over it and have to test it out. So um, I do love this. I use this a lot um, and I do have a couple other favorites as well. But I thought I would just use this one today. Um, this one is a little bit more um, on the drying side because I do have a very oily T-zone, uh, so that's why I am I chose this one today. And also, the, the product that I am using is water-based, and I believe that the L'Oreal one uh, has a silicone in it, and I don't know how well those two would play together. So I'm not going to risk it, and I'm just going to use my Master Blur Stick. Okay, and the primer that I chose today um, is through Milani. I don't honestly think I really use this uh, here on my channel and, and it's a soft focus glow and mine is in the shade 02 golden glow. So I'm going to shake this up. I have not used this in a long time so hopefully it still will come out. I forgot even how to open it uh, and what's nice it does have a pump dispenser. Uh, I hope it's not too dark. But it will be under uh, my makeup, so we'll be good. And the reason why I chose this primer, you guys, is um, the product that I am testing and using today, I believe, is a little on the drier side. So I wanted something glowy, um, not drier, matte side. I always choose the wrong words. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's more on the matte side. So I wanted something just a little bit more glowy. I know that this Milani Soft Focus Glow will give me that, you know, illuminating effect, you know, with the more matte foundation. 
Okay, you guys, so what I have picked up, I've seen a few um, True Gales on TikTok really enjoy it, so I was like, okay, let me go, let me try this. And it's by Derma Blend, and it's their CC Cream. Um, and I got mine in the shade 37N Medium 1. This is a SPF 50, which will be great. Um, again, I'm going to be outside a lot. I've already put on my regular sunscreen, so this will just give me that extra uh, protection. And what this says is, again, it's water-based. Um, it's a skin tone full coverage. Uh, so weightless and breathable for formula it gives you a perfectly balanced and undetectable full coverage without clogging pores weighing down. Um, it's fade defying up to 24 hour color wear, which stays comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, skin tone correction. Skin first coverage helps visibly reduce the look of redness, discoloration, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and age spots, leaving your skin looking even, radiant, healthy, and youthful. It also has a skin tone protection, which is the SPF 50. Um, so yeah, and on their website, it has um, 16 shades. So again, I'm in the 37N, and let's give this a try. Um, it looks very similar to my e.l.f. Uh, CC cream. Isn't that interesting? But I am just going to kind of move things around. It has this kind of applicator, and I'm not sure how much to use. So I'm just going to put about that much down. Ooh, I think this shade might be spot on. Okay, now how do I want to apply this? I think I'm actually going to go in with my Anissa brush first. And I'm going to spray that with my ColourPop um, Pretty Fresh Setting Spray. I always like to do that. I just feel like it moves the product around a little bit better. And plus, I think it helps give that longevity to your product. Ooh, you guys, this shade is like absolutely perfect for me. Hopefully, it doesn't oxidize or anything because uh, as of right this second, it's like pretty spot on. You know what? I'll check, I'll check for things after because I don't want it to dry down, you know, quickly. And I will say it is giving me pretty good coverage uh, right off the bat. I see like a lot of my uh, imperfections, you know, just being covered right over. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a more matte finish. Uh, that is for sure. Um, and I do still see imperfections uh, on the first, you know, pass. I still have a lot of product down here. It does not look super drying either. You know, like a lot of matte foundations on me will look absolutely horrible. Um, this actually looks pretty good. And I do have some drying here clinging slightly. So I will say if you have super dry skin, it will work. You know, I, I really think it would work. But you would definitely need to um, moisturize super good at you know before maybe exfoliate um you know maybe use a like i like i did here a more luminous uh primer you know if you want a more dewy um finish so yeah again it looks super pretty and but i do have uh imperfection here it's like an age spot i don't know if you can see it but i still can see it so uh, they say that it's you know that it will cover that and I didn't use a lot of products, so um, I went in pretty light. So this can be adjustable to your liking. So I'm just trying to see areas where I would like to cover to see if it does get full coverage. And I still have about that much on my palette here. And I'm going to go in and just kind of use my sponge this time. Yeah, that did cover them. Pretty good. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it definitely is a uh, full coverage foundation, but it is pretty nice. I'm going to have to admit that. Um, usually, I do not like matte foundations, um, but this is pretty good. I like this. It does have a slight tackiness still. You know, it's still probably still drying down, um, but... Okay, and the next thing I, I picked up while I was at Ulta was the new NYX Bear With Me Concealer. 
And you remember how I told you before, I get nervous about using NYX complexion products because um, I think they cater more to the younger generation. So uh, let's see if they're getting better. So it's a concealer serum. And this is infused with that Tremella uh, mushroom. So you guys, this might be okay. And I'm trying to look for the shade here. And I'm almost positive I picked mine up in vanilla. I can't find it here on the container. But let's take a look. It has a pumps dispenser. So that's going to be interesting. I'll just put like one pump here. And that is the shade here. I think I'm just going to put it on with my finger. Ooh, this could be bad. I don't like the applicator. I will say that. I do not like it at all because it's hard to control um, what I'm doing. I guess I could have went in even with this brush or maybe even like a lip brush and, um, you know, went in more precise, you know. But I think I'm just going to do this today. does feel pretty hydrating um, and just to trying to figure out which way it would be better for application so I'm going to use my finger on this side yeah it's super creamy okay so let me take a look I think the shade is okay it's pretty full coverage um, it really is and it goes on super creamy but it is drying down um, which could be a good thing or a bad thing um, I'm not trying down super crazy. Uh, yeah, I kind I really kind of like this. The only thing I'm not too thrilled about is the applicator, but, um, other than that, it's not, it's very, I think, similar to my e.l.f. camo, um, the creamy one. And, you know, because it has that high coverage, it's drying down, but not really bad yet so but it's very it, that it gives me that kind of vibe i'm still going to go in and spray it with my my uh pretty fresh from color pop and i like to do that on a sponge and just set that down uh instead of using powder under my eyes you guys maybe nyx is paying attention to um their more mature audience and also i think more dewy is in more than matte you know matte went through that you know phase where everybody loved matte products but i think more glowy products are becoming more popular so i think it's good that they're going to have a choice between the two of what you would like because that's a great idea they just need to change that applicator so i am also going to use their uh, can't stop won't stop i actually really like this you guys um i wasn't sure at first but i do i tend to uh grab toward Towards it a lot it gives just that great amount of coverage and it's not super uh, powdery and it kind of just soaks right into my skin I actually really like this uh, it doesn't accentuate my wrinkles at all um, if anything it kind of blurs them yeah I mean this is absolutely I love this powder and it only becomes even more better when I put a setting spray on it. I'm going to use my Anissa brush here and just go around the perimeter just to get rid of that tackiness, you guys. I know I always say that in every video, but um, I just, you know, somebody could be new and that's why I don't, I just don't use a lot of powder uh, on the rest of my face. And I always go back over the T-zone just to get any excess powder off. For bronzer, I'm actually going to use my Essence. Um, this is the contouring, actually, palette, but I use it for bronzer because I actually love the shade. Uh, it's more cool toned, and I like that as a bronzer. And I actually cleaned my brushes, you guys. I'm so excited. And these, I, you know, you wash them and you put them on as they dry, and it helps keep, you know, the brushes natural form. So, yeah, I'm super excited. I finally gave <laughs> my brushes. Oh, and these you can find on Amazon. They're amazing. They really, really are. It just helps, you know, uh, keep the longevity of your brushes. So, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of bronzer. Okay, and then for blush, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, putty blush. 
I don't know what shade this is, you guys. They never, if they did put the shade on it, it's off. So I will look it up and I will put it in the description box of what shade it is. But it looks pretty bright um, in the container here. And again, the reason why I love blush, Elf's Putty Blushes is that you can go, you know, over your powder. And I'm just going to go in really light. And I'm just going to go over that with my sponge that I do have a little bit of the foundation on just to spread that around and calm it down just slightly. That is super pretty. Uh, I forgot how much I love the shade. I think because I tend to not use it as much because it's very intimidating in that pan. But once you put it on, it is super, super pretty. The great thing is just always go back with your sponge and you can move it around. And there is a uh, blush in here as well called Love. And I'm just going to go over the top of this cream blush just to set this down and see if it, you know, alters the shade any. Uh, just slightly. Okay, that is super, super pretty. I love that blush. Okay, so I'm going to go back in the palette and I'm going to go into Blood Moon. And I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. I'm going to go back with my Maybelline Precise Pencil. And I think I want to use uh, the pencil on the lower lash instead of that black eyeshadow because... Again, you know, if my eyes water, I think it has a better chance of this remaining on than the eyeshadow. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to use that highlighter shade, Gleam. And I'm going to do my inner corner. Okay, let's try this highlighter Gleam on my cheeks here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Not too chunky and just add just a little bit. So add just a little bit of that glow. I'm just going to put a little bit here, just very little on my nose and here. I added just a little bit too much on this side, so I'm going to calm that down with my sponge. So yeah, that's super pretty. Yeah, I'm super happy I got this palette for $5.50. I am going to use Falsies today. I'm just going to use corner lashes from um, Ardell. And these are the 318. Here, I'm just going to use a black lash glue. And just put that on and let those dry for a minute before I apply my mascara or anything. I think I'm going to use um, the Milani. And this is Make It Dewy. This is a 16-hour wear. So I don't even... I don't think I've used this in a very long time. So I'm going to spray my sponge and just kind of tap that deep into the sponge and go around my whole face. Okay, so let's take a look what that did. Yeah, you guys, I'm telling you, setting spray will change everything. If you don't use a setting spray, just try it one time. Buy like a really cheap one from Wet n Wild. And, you know, use a lot of powder and you'll see the difference that it makes. It just changes everything. Sometimes during the process, your product might, you know, come off just slightly. You can always go back at this point, like here, I think I need to add a little bit more blush. But um, other than that, I mean, it just changes the look. It helps with your makeup stay on. I'm just a firm believer in setting sprays. So just so easy to apply and this little tool here uh, you can find them pretty much anywhere makes that process even more easy now I'm going to use my Maybelline uh, sky high it but this is a waterproof because again um, my eyes might water and I don't want my makeup going everywhere so when I, when I wear falsies I just mainly put it at the base of the lash but to line my lips, I'm going to use a Revlon, and this is in Rose. I love their uh, lip liners. They're a little pricey, though, but yeah, this is the long wear one by Revlon. Okay, again, I'm not sure what shades I'm going to go with here. So I'm going to have to swatch a few and see. Uh, no, that's too orange for sure. That's not going to work. 
and let's try this one and this is by NYX that might go yeah that's probably a good choice here and this is by oh, and this is by BH Cosmetics this is their uh, it's more like a moussey type situation so probably either one of those since we're wearing BH Cosmetics I think I'm gonna go with this see how that works I love this formula. It is so, yeah, moussey, whippy. <laughs> I can't explain it, but, but and then it does dry down. I do have another uh, NYX product too, and this is in their butter gloss, and everybody's going crazy over it. It's in sugar cookie. So I think what I'm going to do, because I don't want to mix the two, is I'm going to apply a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to take my lip brush. Everybody says it makes like that ombre effect. So I'm going to put a little bit on my lip brush. And it does, yeah, it just lightens it up just enough uh, in the center. And I really like it, but I love these lip glosses too by NYX. I will <laughs> say that they are really nice. Okay, one last step, um, an eye method. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the one that sent me that eye stamp. They also send me their new um, brow wax. And I've actually been using it, and I really do like it, as you can see. And it came with two spoolies, and I literally, that's all you need. Like, just to tap it a couple times, and then I just go up and comb it through. And it's just like that, honestly, that perfect formula. Um, it's not, you know, it doesn't dry down super sticky or anything um it's like how do i explain it <laughs> it's like one of those hairsprays you know where it holds your hair but you're still able to move them um but your hairs are not going to fall it's only going to move if you move them but as you can see it really lifts these up quite a bit so i have been really liking this product i wasn't at sure i wasn't sure at first I went in with way too much. Uh, again, so little is needed. Less is better with this product. So yeah, this is such a great product. If you're in the market for a new uh, brow wax, you know, give this one a try. It's not that expensive and will last you a long time. All right, you guys, um, I got to get going. I got to start heading to the kid's house. I'm going to drive to their house and then head up to Frank and Muth. And again, I will take some footage of that and I'll do a wear test on this. Right now it is 1141. So here is the final look. It is super, super pretty. I love that palette. I like how everything turned out super festive, uh, especially for the day. All right, you guys, I will hopefully be back. Okay, you guys, it is now 1147, so I think it's been on like 12 hours. So, uh, yeah, we went up to Frankenmuth, had a great time. Um, I actually overdressed. I was dying of heat exhaustion and sweating and all that fun stuff, but we had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the clips that I put throughout this video. Um, and I did take a quick look. Uh, again, I never do touch-ups or uh, any blotting, anything. And I did take a quick look, and it has rubbed off on areas, uh, on my nose, on my chin. Um, I just feel like it's faded a little bit. So that 24-hour claim, I think, is a little steep. Um, but again, I was perspiring. It was 
you know, kind of hot, you know, in some of the stores. I just feel um, like that claim of being, you know, the 24 hour wear and yeah, yeah, and no foundation I don't think lasts that long anyway. But I mean, other than that, it looks really good. Um, it didn't settle in my uh, fine lines or anything else. Um, yeah, it's just all through the T-zone. It has really um, wore off, but in a graceful manner. It's not um, like horrible. It's not like caked up in areas. Uh, maybe a little bit here uh, at the corner of my nose slightly um, where I had the dry patches. Those are a little accentuated right now. So, um, I mean, honestly, it's a nice foundation. I really like it. I just feel like um, for the first impression, the claims did not meet my expectations from what it said it was going to do, but um, it does still look nice. I'm definitely going to try it again. I'm going to try it with a different setting spray. Um, my ultimate favorite one, this one, uh, it seems like every foundation ends up looking amazing at the end of the day with this. So, you know, maybe the Milani, the Dewey just didn't, you know, mix with it very well. But I'm going to zoom in so you guys can take a look and see. Um, hopefully you'll catch what I'm talking about. Okay, and then the other thing I did test out today was the concealer. Um, that looks fine. I have no creasing whatsoever. Um, it may have faded slightly, but, um, my eyes were watering again. I was outside, you know, I told you how when it's cold, my eyes water. So I'm really not even going <laughs> to hold that against it. So, um, other than that, it looks really good. No creasing, no settling. Um, I'm super happy. I'm going to continue uh, to use that product as well. Uh, so I'm super happy with that. Again, you know, this isn't a horrible product um, at all. It covered very nice. I can't even tell you at what point it started breaking down because I wasn't even looking in a mirror all day. So um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be wearing it again on my channel. I'll be wearing it the next few days and I'll leave it in the description box, you know, how if anything has changed from today. Okay, you guys, if you enjoyed today's video, if you please give me that thumbs up. You know how much I love and appreciate that. I love you guys. And until next time.